Good morning, my loves. Welcome back. So in today's video, I want to talk about the axis of education, the third house and the ninth house, the polarity between the two. And uh, we will look at each house individually, and then we'll bring it together, right? We find the connection. And we will also learn what these houses can teach us in life. Now, the third house is part of the foundation, right? The first, second, third, and fourth house are what I call the foundation, the foundation of life. And in the third house, the foundation is uh, focused on education and so socialization. So that's why the third house is all about our immediate surrounding and also our immediate family, like our siblings, our aunts and uncles, because they are the first people we, we will socialize with. And it also tells us a lot about our early life conditioning based on our early life education. And um, it is a very, very busy area, a very busy um, part of our life. And that's why we often connect Gemini with this area, right? Gemini is naturally at home in the third house. Now, the ninth house is what I like to call the house of the belief system. But of course, it is much more than this. Than this. It is the house of the adventure. It's where we go out into the world and learn about life, about ourselves, by being introduced to other cultures, um, to other beliefs, right? That's also the area where we um, question what we learned in the third house and the conditioning that we've received in the third house based on what we should believe, what is right and what is wrong. In the ninth house, we will question that. The ninth house is also uh, the house of um, beliefs in terms of religion. So we find religion there. And we might have been raised uh, in a certain religion or we might have been raised uh, with no religion. And then later in life, we either come to um, a religion or we realize that the religion we've been raised in we don't feel connected to it um, on a on a true aligned deep level right it was conditioned it was a conditioned understanding and now we realize well this is actually not working for me um, or we maybe in my case i was raised in um, um, by my grandparents or especially my grandmother in a very um, catholic way and my mom was, because um, she was also raised by my grandmother, um, obviously, and she was raised very, very religiously. And my mom didn't want that for me because my mom felt that as a burden. So when I was with my grandmother, I was um, introduced into um, the religion in a, in a very, mm, you may say, deep way, right? There was uh, praying before dinner, praying after dinner. In my house with my mom, that was not the case. So I got to see both sides. And um, when I grew older, I understood for myself that for me, God is not necessarily found in a religion. That doesn't mean that I don't believe religion has its value in society. But for me, um, God is not connected to one particular religion in God is all and um, I it's a more I have found a more spiritual understanding for myself um, like like every, every other polarity house polarity this these two um, houses feed off each other but they are also a natural evolution from the third house to the ninth house we literally grow up we learn more about ourselves and our um, um, true wants and needs in life. So on our way from, our, from the third house to the ninth house, we go through all these other stages in life. And once we reach the ninth house, we have to remember the ninth house comes after the eighth house. In the eighth house, we dive really deep. We do our inner child work. 
and we learn and understand a lot about us, about ourselves. And then we go out into the world in the ninth house and we, we first of all, we practice what we've came to understand, but also we are ready to teach. In the, in the third house, we, we talk more about basic education. In the, in the ninth house, we talk about higher education and also teaching. So in the ninth house, we are then going from the student to the teacher. Yes, also in the ninth house is also about learning because we will never stop learning until we take our last breath. We will learn in life, so we will always be a student. But the ninth house um, tells us a lot about our own ability to be a teacher to others. So I hope this uh, video helped you a little bit more when it comes to understanding this axis and this polarity. If you have any questions, um, comment below. I'm trying to keep these videos on the shorter side because the first ones, they were way too long. So um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.